Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. I have in my hands what scientists would call a magnet. And what do magnets do? Well, we're going to zoom in and take a closer look to see. So we have a pencil and a scissors. There's a metal part to the scissors, a plastic part to the scissors, a wooden part to the pencil, and it even looks like a little metal part. Let's see what our magnet does. You can see over here, the magnet seems to attract this kind of metal. It does nothing for the plastic. It does nothing for the wood, and it actually doesn't do anything for that type of metal either. So a magnet moves certain types of metals. Now magnets can come in all different shapes and sizes. They're tiny magnets in these little plastic pieces. I have a round flat magnet, a bigger round magnet, a smaller round magnet, these kind of magnets. And they not only come in different shapes and sizes, they actually come in different strengths. Some magnets are stronger than others, and when I push them, they could repel or attract. So we can see that magnets are attracted to certain types of metals. Well, I have in this bottle a special type of metal that's all ground up into tiny little pieces. It's a bottle of iron filings, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see how small they really are when I pour them out. So there's a little bit of the iron filings, and watch what happens when the magnet gets close. You can see the iron filings start to get attracted to the magnet. All magnets put out lines of force, and these iron filings are following those lines of force put out by this magnet. We're going to use these iron filings and the magnet to create a really cool art project. That's right. I know we're a science channel, but we're making an art project. Why? Well, you hear a lot of people talk about STEM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Well, other people are also talking about STEAM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. And there's a lot of creativity in science that goes into art, and that's why we're doing a really cool art project using magnets and iron filings. So let's take a closer look at what we're doing. Now we got this idea from an old toy that was around even before when I was a kid. And it involved a magnet on a stick with iron filings and a drawing inside a closed container. So the idea works like this. There's a magnet on the end of the stick. I have iron filings and a drawing. And what I can use, I can use these iron filings and I can drag them around to almost make it look like hair growing on my picture. We've zoomed in so you can see what's going on here. All I did was tape a tiny magnet to a popsicle stick. And this is the first one we made. And you can see we put in a little too many filings for this. You, can, you can't even see his chin. So if I wanted to take the magnet and pull up the iron filings, I could create a beard. I could pull them further and work on creating a mustache. Drag them over. Or I could pull everything up and try and give them some hair or thicker eyebrows. Now there is a definite technique that you need to develop to get this to work. You have to pull a little bit of the iron filings at a time. And you can see those iron filings want to follow the force of the magnet. So grab a little bit and get it sliding. There we go. Pull it over his eyes. And I can design hair. Now, if I want to use a weaker magnet, I may not be able to get those iron filings to move with this magnet, but I can almost style his hair by getting the iron filings to follow the force of the magnet and turn a different direction. Pretty cool. So we could draw our own picture on a little piece of paper, and we found that foam core works the best, gives it some structure. I could draw right on this, or I could draw on a piece of paper and glue it, but we wanted to make a personalized picture today so we used some technology to create a picture of me without hair. So what I did is I downloaded a free app onto my phone, took my picture, and that app removed my hair. It made me bald, and it's perfect for our little art project. I glued that picture onto some foam core to give it some sturdiness and structure, and now I'm ready to go. I have to make sure the picture fits in my baggie. Open the bag, drop in my picture, and now I'm going to use tape, clear tape, to wrap that baggie around my picture. But before I do that, I have to pour in some iron filings. So what I did is I folded the baggie and taped it so my picture fits really nicely inside. Now it's time to add my iron filings. You want to be careful not to add too much. 
like we did the first time. We're going to give that a try. You can see I already have the beard, but we're going to try and give me some hair. So now I have to seal this up and tape it closed. Now when we made ours, we figured out that the baggie's a little bit thin, so we reinforce it with some clear tape over the whole front. Going to do that all the way up my bag. So we have everything taped up and assembled. Let's see if we can give me some hair. Grab some iron filings and drag them and let them go. And you can see, I can get my hair designed and styled any way I want. Go from this side. Beautiful. The cool part about this is now I can explore and try different things. What if I use different magnets, bigger magnets, smaller magnets, stronger magnets, weaker magnets? Would I get different results? I could make all kinds of pictures and put them in our little bag, seal it up with the iron filings and have a great toy that I can play with for a long time. I could even get more artistic and put some picture frame around it, seal it with colored tape so you can't even see the iron filings at the bottom. I could do a lot of really cool designing with this little art project. And the coolest part is there's a ton of science going on in this art project. And the really neat thing about this project is when I want to start all over, just turn it right side up, give it a couple taps, and all the iron filings fall down to the bottom. Really cool. If you want to learn more about magnets or get some ideas on other STEAM projects, check out our channel, Fun Science Demos. Science is so cool even when it involves Hairless Harry. Thanks for watching.